Hello, everybody. This is Eric from We Are Change and BAP Nation with an exclusive. Um, I've done the research first, and if you want to look below, uh, I have sourced my, I've listed my sources so you can do the research for yourself. Um, on September 3rd of 2013, uh, Alex Jones and Anthony Gucciardi uh, had announced that they had some high level military uh, leak, some information leak regarding. Um, the fact that there was uh, missing nukes. Uh, and the report goes on to say, uh, on September 3rd, a number of disturbing red flags uh, have continued to give further evidence to high-level military intelligence sources that initially exposed the transfer of off-the-record uh, nuclear warheads from Dias Air Force Base to South Carolina. Within hours of them breaking that report, Ironically, Senator Lindsey Graham was quoted as saying, if we don't attack Syria, there would be a nuclear attack in Charleston Harbor, South Carolina. So we have this mysterious bit of information leaked out. We have off-the-record nuclear transfer of warheads uh, from Dias Air Force Base to South Carolina. And within hours, we have a Senator Graham saying there's going to be a nuclear attack on South Carolina if we don't go into Syria, of all things. So what it sounds like from at this point, somebody who goes, wait a minute, this doesn't make any damn sense. What I'm hearing is that our government knew knows that there are missing nukes, or they actually made the nukes disappear. And they're basically extorting us, saying, look, uh, we're going to go into Syria, or we're going to blow up South Carolina. I mean, otherwise, where would South Carolina even come into this? Because most of the intelligence that I've been getting over the last six months is uh, pointed toward if there was going to be a nuclear attack in the U.S., that it would happen in Chicago. And to me, that made relatively good sense. You have a high population. You would have mass exposure. Uh, you've got Rahm Emanuel being the, the mayor of Chicago. You have Larry Silverstein being the owner of the Willis Tower, which is you know formerly known as the Sears Tower. Um, it's all the same players. It's all the same guys that were involved in, 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 in you know, when 9-11 happened. So, again, uh, then here's the irony. You're going to love this. Um, within a few days, uh, Friday, October 11th to be exact, Obama orders the termination of the two, two highest-ranking nu nuclear commanders, obviously from this base, uh, Tim Gardena and uh, Vice Admiral Tim Gardena and uh, Major General Michael Carey. So on Friday, October 11th, Air Force officials said that Major General Michael Carey was fired for personal misbehavior. Okay, you don't fire generals and, and people of this. You, you, you go, there's an investigation. They have to go through the UCMJ. You don't just fire them. There's a process involved. So this right here doesn't make any sense. Uh, also, um, uh, oh, and, and this all, ha his, his supposed uh, personal misbehavior happened while on temporary duty at an unspecified location outside of his usual command. So none of this makes any sense at all. The same day, uh, Vice Admiral T uh, Tim Gardena was removed from office for allegedly being involved in some sort of illegal gambling operation. Again, we've got <laughs> the two top most military officials in charge of our nuclear arsenal both fired on the same day under really bizarre circumstances uh, after basically threats were made by Lindsey Graham saying if we don't go into Syria then South Carolina is going to blow up and the same exact base that these two high uh, level officials were fired from days later uh, it was uh, there is an off the record nuclear warheads transfer from Dias Air Force Base to South Carolina, which ironically turned up missing. Uh, Graham was also quoted as saying that uh, nuclear weapons have fallen into the hands of terrorists. How do they know that? They don't know where the nuclear warheads are, but they know the terrorists got them. <laughs> it, it, it couldn't be a missing semi-truck. It couldn't be like a, a semi-driver that flew off the road and, and they haven't found the truck yet. It couldn't be anything else, but it has to be terrorists. We don't know where the weapons are for sure, but they're missing. But we know for sure they're terrorists, and we know they're going to blow up South Carolina if we don't go into Syria, because going into Syria would just totally solve the problem. This all makes so much sense. How do you people believe a single word that comes out of anybody's mouth in our government anymore? I've listed below on this post the links to everything. 
So you can go look this all up for yourself. And I, and I tried my best to find, because I know most of you still don't believe anything unless it's on the mainstream media. So a lot of them are CBS News uh, leaks and um, you know actual reports. So I wasn't going to like some uh, third-party website that you've never heard, before, heard of before. So this is, this is serious stuff here. None of this makes any sense, and obviously we have a rogue government, and they are willing to use nuclear weapons on their own people to scare the crap out of you, to get the okay to go into Syria. And, and they're willing to murder their own people in large numbers, the same way they did on 9-11. Please, do your research on these things. Uh, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. This is a real serious situation here, and I, I hope that you follow the links and do your own research. So this is breaking news from uh, BAP Nation. Uh, I give the original... Uh, Credits to Infowars. I uh, did my own research, be you know, before I would release this information. So basically, within the last two weeks, this has fruition. Um, if we get this information out there enough, I think that we could prevent a nuclear attack. Uh, you know, because the last thing they want is for people like me to come out and say this doesn't look right this might happen this is a false flag thing and I had the information before this and this is what we're predicting so if they do it all they're doing is saying that we were right and it underlines everything that we say so I'm hoping that I get proven wrong I'm hoping that there is not a nuclear attack but I would be irresponsible not to share this information after um, finding it out for myself so this is my daily rant called missing nukes Please pay attention, folks. This is very, very important.